Hey everyone, doing a uh, special flight today in, in, due to world events. Um, so we're starting in Moscow, um, Sheremetyevo Airport. I don't know why we can't see it on the tag there. Um, and we're flying down to and landing in Red Square. in a Cessna Skyhawk. So let's do it, 12 minutes. So the reason I'm doing this is um, because it was done before in real life in 1987 by a chap called Matthias Rust, 17 year old uh, West German, um, who did it for, for peace and um, believe it it's believed it did contribute to the end of the Cold War because it allowed Gorbachev to, um, to fire many of his, uh, his hardline um, air defence ministers. Paving the way for Glasnost and all that. same flight. So it's on a bearing of about 132 degrees from this airport. Cessna X-ray to off the air and continue for west departure. I meant to turn off the uh, the audio, the um, ATC. I mean, climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Keep speed not above 219 or not. To expect ILS runway 06 left approach by a Kespa transition. Clear to Kespa Aeroflot 1153. Cessna X ray Golf the Aero, please acknowledge. I just won't acknowledge, and he'll uh, go away in a minute. I want to be clear, there's nothing against um, Russia or the Russian people about this flight. Uh, they're as much victims um, in many ways as the people of Ukraine. of psychotic leaders and misinformation. Actually, I can just see the um, Cathedral of Christ the Saviour coming up there. Actually, at 150. There's no photogrammatic scenery here, it's all autogenic except for a couple of points of interest there, the Moscow State University and the Church of Christ the Saviour. Good day. 
I have actually done this flight before on my first uh, big um, route in my YouTube channel was from Southampton Airport, England to um, Alaska crossing Siberia following the Trans-Siberian Railway and then up into the Russian Far East to the Bering Strait it was a cool flight but yeah, not a lot of gaps in the uh, satellite imagery quite a bit of autogen especially near the end Eastern Siberia was okay, but um, once we got beyond that, a lot of autogen. And all the towns and cities have 100% autogen. Uh, Matthias Rust himself flew this route from Helsinki, so it must have taken like three, four hours um, staying below Russian radar. I wonder what was going through his head at the time. Did he like start feeling regret when he crossed the border or halfway through? What was he thinking as he was landing? those videos and documentaries about it. Just have a look on YouTube. Okay, we can see Red Square there just below the uh, left wing tip. Just on the north side of that bridge. So I'm going to start the descent. That's the Kremlin literally off the uh, left wing tip. Gonna fly over the cathedral and loop round and land.
Fog 1, 1, five, three, one two, five, eight, a tree. Clear to land runway, zero, 06 left. Tighten this turn a bit. There we are. Okay. Now Matthias boost himself actually landed on the bridge just before Red Square and taxied up um, because there were too many people in Red Square. He was worried about hitting someone. But this being Microsoft Flight Simulator, they they haven't done people yet, so we don't have to worry about that. And apparently, if you do try to land on this bridge, it, it crashes you out. It says you detect you hit water or something or collided with an object. That's what I've heard. So don't try and land on the bridge. And it's on kind of a, ho a slope. It's kind of a hill, so be ready for that. the bridge. Oops. A bit more power than I could a bit hard. Okay. Let's kill the power now. This looks absolutely nothing like the Red Square in um, any time I've seen it before. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and hope you join me on a Sunday nights to uh, to do this at 9:30. Bye for now.